Yo, what up, my homies? Welcome to the Turn Up Club. Yo, why did I just say that? Okay, well, anyway, I've been thinking about lately a lot of things that I've hate, and I come to the conclusion, even though I am a loving, caring person, I still hate a lot of things. So therefore, I am expressing in this video about everything that I cannot stand. And beware if this is kind of long. Um, this That's just because I have a lot of things to say that I've been holding in for 18 years. So we better get started because I think I'm going to be here all night. hate my hair like look at this look there is a reason why I'm wearing a snapback like this is just one big frizzy frizz frizz mess and at moments like this like today I wish I can just shave all my hair off and it's just uh, it bothers me I'm sorry I have to put this back on I'm not one to obsess over looks and I look really bummy like 99.9% .9 of the time but I just cannot stand when my hair is like frizzy. Another thing that I hate is the pretzel to everything else ratio in a bag of Chex Mix. Who thinks they are going to want to eat the pretzels? Like there is probably 0.1% of the population in this world that wants to eat the pretzels in a bag of Chex Mix. If I want to eat pretzels, I will go buy a bag of pretzels. I buy Chex Mix because I want rye pieces and the little Chex pieces and the little breaded breadstick pieces with the circle connected whatever. No, I don't want pretzels and it doesn't help that you shape them weird. I don't care if they're the little window shaped or if they're the little circle rings, which by the way is the only thing I use them for as rings to put around my finger. I don't use them to eat because if I wanted a bag of pretzels, I would go buy one. Another thing I can't stand are eggs. That's like a chicken's ovaries that you're eating. like. There could, that could have been like a little baby chicken that could have hatched out the egg from, but something happened or something like, I don't know if, I don't know how that biology works. I don't really want to know, but no. Another thing that I hate is school. I hate being late. That is the worst possible, the worst possible scenario for me is if we are supposed to be someplace and we arrive late and then we get yelled at or everybody looks at us while we walk in or no it's just shameful if somebody tells you to be there at nine o'clock you don't get there at 901 like this really just makes me irritated every day god bless her heart every day i wait in the car for my sister for like five minutes while she just takes her pretty little time inside getting ready for school primping or whatever she does another thing that i hate is the word pet peeve like no i could have been all like this video is about my pet peeves but i didn't because you guys probably would have stopped watching it it's just so child so fifth grade-ish like what even is a pet peeve? Did your pet just get so annoying one day that you're just like, oh my gosh, this is like a pet peeve that I just really can't No, Like, somebody please look this up on Urban Dictionary as to why the meaning, why pet peeve is the word it is. Because I obviously have no clue and I would just like to know what logic was behind the person who created the word. If I could hate one thing, it would be the letter K. Thank you, letter K, for ruining my life. Every time my mom or dad texts me, 
they, you know, say something, and then I say something back. And usually, usually after that, there's no need for them to respond, except they say the word K. Is it too much work to spell out OK? 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 You just have to do K? And what is the point of that anyway? I get all excited like, oh, it's another text. Oh, oh my God, my mom just texted me. Oh, K. K. Oh, it's, it's, well, thank you guys for watching. Sorry about my little breakdown, but you know, that's just what happens when you talk about something you feel really strong about. Have an abracadabby week.